Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at the Anchor Soundcore Q20i and you might know that I have a problem in uh, reviewing headphones and it's a thing when you are doing these kind of reviews because actually you are, when you are using headphones or speakers it's uh, mostly about the sound quality and that cannot be truly reproduced on uh, any kind of review so it's up to the reviewer to tell you they sound great or they sound bad and this is susceptible to any kind of interpretation or maybe the review is sponsored then I must say that it's great or if uh, they are bad and I've bought them and I lost money, I can say they are very bad. So never ever trust a headphone review on the internet. Right, so with that said, uh, why I'm doing this? Because I must be honest, when I bought them, even though they are rather cheap entry level headphones, I wanted to find a few things about them and actually I could not find some information not related to the sound quality but to their usability for instance how good they feel on your ears how big the pads are uh, what type of insulation they have does the active noise cancelling really work or not not how good it works because again that's uh, susceptible to the reviewer but nonetheless here are some specifications you can pause the video to look at them and I'm going to go forward with the quick unboxing so you get a small manual here you get an audio cable because they can be used as regular headphones also you have a charging cable it uses USB type C and talking about the folding and compactness of the headphones well they are having a kind of interesting pivot here so you can rotate them and you can see that so they are going to better adapt the shape of your head and for storage you can also fold them and both can be folded in but you need to somehow extend them and that's not working so you have to actually do something like rotate them and store them something like this when you are traveling with them they are not going to fold in both of them so that's one of the reasons I wanted to see a review for this type of headphones. Then, further on, uh, the ear cushions here are pretty decent. They have the synthetic leather that probably is going to go bad in uh, some time from now on. And you are going to get uh, dark like a panda, but not around your eyes, but around your ears. Uh, and the same goes here pretty good padding the spring here is pretty decent it's not very strong it's not going to squish your head but it does a good job of pressing this to uh, insulate your ears uh, because they have uh, active noise cancelling which you can enable or disable uh, and they have something interesting that I'm going to tell you later about the transparency mode uh, they have uh, very well insulated uh, the cushions and the headphones themselves they are kind of uh, uh, have no air coming out or in they are when you put this on your ears you already get natural noise insulation because there's no sound coming through this being completely sealed uh, a thing that I do not like on them is how they have placed the buttons here um, you have the volume and a plus minus and the power the power is a smaller button that it's in and they are rather tiny and they are made of one single kind of piece of plastic actually they are a bit separated but they are very close and when you want to turn it on uh, if you already put this on your head you are going to have a bit of trouble pressing the buttons. Also, they are next to this pivot here, and when you put this on your uh, head, this is in the back and in the lower part of the headphones. So you are going to try to fiddle to press them, and you are going to press all the buttons, and it happens that you want to put the volume up, you are going to press power, they mute themselves. So not the best idea to put three small switches, one next to the other. On this part here, <laughs> next, pi next to the pivot on this side, you have the noise cancelling switch. So this turns it on, off, 
and you have the transparency mode. Transparency mode uh, works in this way. So uh, first you know that active cancelling uses the microphones outside the headphones so they monitor the noise and try to make that noise in reverse so you don't hear it. Uh, the transparency mode actually takes the sound outside and puts it on the headphones. So if someone talks to you, you are going to hear him on the headphones. Or if a car is going to hit you and it's uh, putting on the brakes, you are going to hit it. Uh, they are going to hit you, but you are going to also hear that. So that's the idea with the transparency mode. And you have the best mode of them all. Is the normal mode when all this gimmickly it's stopped and they act like normal headphones. Another thing that uh, I actually like about them, so if I turn them on, you might not hear them. They don't have the same annoying voice that you get on all those other headphones like power on, power off, pairing. This just has some gentle sounds and when you turn them on it says the battery level such as battery high, battery medium, battery low. And you get an app with them and that's actually really good because uh, you can add them here. I have location. Okay, you want to know where I am? No problem with that. I'm joking. Uh, okay, so you can find them here and you get a guide okay the good thing is you can monitor the battery level that's not so important you can adjust the noise cancelling which you can do from the switch here uh, and you can see that in the app it changes but you have these sound effects where you can actually uh, use the default mode or you can go to a custom equalizer and no i do not want to sign in to save so you can do a custom equalizer that's going to be applied to the headphones and I find that amazing. If you go to the default you have here a lot of presets that you can choose from but personally I like the custom and I like this to be completely flat because when you get these headphones uh, they are uh, going to sound very deep and you see this uh, pure bass no noise Actually, they sound a bit muffled when you get them because they have a bus boost enabled equalizer and everything that you are going to hear, it's having a lot of bass, but it's cutting out all the medium and the highs uh, and it's not very pleasant to anything, not even to music, uh, but for other things like actually talking with them on your mobile phone or watching a movie, it's going to be just a muffled sound. So the app is really useful because you can switch that equalizer and actually enjoy a natural sound or a more natural sound than a forced uh, pure bass sound that uh, they advertise on the box, which actually I like, but I do not like in this model. I do like a powerful crisp bass, but not a muffled sound. Another interesting thing is the dual connection which also I wanted to know how it works and works really nice and you have a management for that so you can connect the headphones to two devices at the same time you can enable or disable that in case you don't want the headphones to switch between two devices and you also have a history so when you want to connect to another device that you previously connected to you can quickly connect to that one without doing any other things without redoing pairing so it saves all of them in the app and you can quickly switch them like having profiles and you can connect to both of them that's pretty nice and pretty useful let's see if this works live yes and now i'm connecting to i'm connected to two devices at once just like that and i can disable one of them Pretty, pretty simple, so really good idea. Then you also have here an option to upgrade the firmware on the headphones, but I'm on the latest version. I don't know if they actually do some firmware upgrades on this or not, but at least it's a possibility to do something like that. And that's the app, Not nothing uh, else here to, that you can do. 
so you can have uh, access on their web to a manual and so on but no other functions so do I recommend them for cheap headphones they are actually decent they are not very heavy and they weigh exactly they are on center 246 grams so it's not super light but it's nowhere near other headphones that are twice as heavy as this one so yes the folding system is not the greatest but they can get compact they have these pivots which help you a bit with the position on your earphones as this can also go a bit on extremes like this so they adjust better to your uh, head they sound decent and they sound a lot more better if you adjust the settings so in other words yes for cheap headphones they are okay and last but not least you get here some interesting uh, pictograms with uh, bus up we are sure about that we have hybrid a and c active noise cancelling well they are well is isolated and they have active noise cancelling so yes the noise cancelling does work on them uh, don't expect not to hear anything and you can still hear people talking around you if they talk uh, loud but their uh, voice volume is definitely turned down and some other noises such as for instance if I drop this box you are going to uh, hear just a tiny amount of that sound not all the noise so yes it does work but it's not magic then high-res audio yes it supports AAC codec on Android uh, but I don't know if that makes any kind of difference if you are uh, looking here you have the AAC codec high quality audio experience I have tried it with it turned it on and off but I didn't uh, felt a big difference between maybe just my imagination that turning this on uh, made it sound better maybe so that was it for now I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this uh, quick uh, review uh, and maybe I have been able to actually answer you some questions about this product and not tell you that wow this sounds so good you need to buy them right now until my next video see you and bye bye